Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Mo's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Mo clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No. They'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> that's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow your little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, cause it's time to start. The Corley Motor Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of Pile-Up, Doreen Schmorley. All right, boys. Sick of And finally, we have a last-minute addition lineup tonight, a deadly looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Mm, try and get away now, bicycle boy. All right now, are you ready to see some reckless driving? Are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Then let the demolition derby begin. Ben. Hang on, Mo. Here I come. That car stalled when I bounced off the roof. Looks like these babies have a glass jaw. here and nail me. Who cares about the bike? 
Mo says it's important, so we're not leaving without it. All right, I'll see what I can do, but I'm burning at both ends here. Still no sign of Ms. Morley. Well, folks, it looks like the party's getting a little out of hand. The stadium seems to be catching fire, but let's all remain calm and... Yeah, you're right. The derby's over. Run for your life! Now, squish that firefly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run. you get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised, and give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm, funny smell. What's that, the temperature light? Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Where's the hard deal? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep, sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. I'll see what I can do. Right. Here, take the photos. I don't want them. Show them to someone important if you get a chance. sort of card and a tape. I sure hope that's Corley's will. Also a great personal friend. His loss affects us all deeply. Malcolm and I spoke often of the future. We talked of a day when Corley Motors would move beyond its humble beginnings into a new vehicular age. And although his tragic death took him from us sooner than anyone expected, Malcolm Corley's dream remains. And I shall carry out that dream in his memory. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the future of Corley Motors. The Corley Minivan.
Corley was right. I never dreamed it would actually come to minivans, though. What you see before you right now is my vision for the